Uh, good day, I'm uh, Barney Stevens, a geologist from Broken Hill. We're going to talk about some of the area in northwestern New South Wales where Burke and Wills travel through. This, this map covers the, the very northwestern corner of New South Wales, north of Broken Hill. So, Burke and Wills, they came up through the Menindee Lakes, uh, they went through Mutawinji. But now we're looking at Tipperborough here, aren't we? Yeah, the Nindy Lakes is out here, then Mutawinji, then Tipperborough area. And of course they just missed Broken Hill really, which only, what, 15 years later, the discoveries were made of this huge ore body? That's right. And it's interesting, uh, the previous expedition by Sturt, they went right through Broken Hill and they went up to Tipperborough and they got stuck in Tipperborough for about 18 months because of a drought they couldn't get anywhere. Okay. Now one of the, the amazing formations up in the Tipperborough area is these these granites up here. Are you able to talk to us about the formation of these granites? And no doubt people have seen the photograph of them as well. Yeah, the, the granites around Tipperborough uh, were, were intruded in, into place uh, in the uh, late uh, Silurian to Devonian period. So intruded, what, what you're saying, as I understand it, is they actually came out from under this area of rock, they were, they were pushed up through this, but they didn't make it to the surface, did they? No, they didn't make it to the surface. So it wasn't like a volcano? No, uh, we don't know of any volcanics that were associated with those granites. Uh, the granites formed by melting in the Earth's crust, uh, probably in the lower to middle sections of the Earth's crust, and then they make their way up towards the surface, but they didn't quite get to the surface, and they, they crystallise uh, from a melt uh, within the rocks below the surface. So why are they all in these big spheres? What's going on? Uh, the big spheres, uh, you mean, uh, as in the outcrops now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, granite typically outcrops as huge boulders, big round boulders. And that, that's just the weathering and erosion, the effects of weathering and erosion. Uh, the weathering gets into the joints in the granite and just grabs it each back from the joints until the, all you've got left is uh, uh, big round boulders of fresh rock. The rest of it's been worn away. Okay, thank you very much.